Well, if you've been wondering what's been happening around here, I can tell you, things haven't been great. Darren quit because I wouldn't give him leave to marry his boyfriend. My name is Oliver. Oh. Mario and Melissa pissed off to Las Vegas to get married because Mario got her up the duff. So now I'm down three people. Then bloody aggro insults Darren and the florist. But it was a total misunderstanding. I thought like the pillar of smokes was here. What's going on, Janela? Nah, mate, those fags, uh, they're here with me and Putney. Ever since I told Keith that I was getting married, Swift and Shift have been both threatening and harassing both me and my fiance. And now, because of that bloody mix up, head office have to pay for their wedding as an apology. And all my staff have to attend. Oh, fucking bullshit! No! Come no! On, no! Man, let's go! And the big news is. Amanda gave me two weeks' notice. <laughs> so if you're thinking, gee, Keith looks like he's got the shits, you're right. I have got the bloody shits. I'm Amanda Doyle, the new regional manager of Swift and Shift. The courier business should be simple, really. You, the client, phones our call centre and tells us what's going where. The radio room should organise a competent driver to take your package from A to B on time. It seems so simple. So why does Keith's depot always manage to stuff it up? Abdul to David, coming in of shit! What do you fucking want, Abdul? If you give me one of these shit jobs again, I'll smash you, right? So what's your fucking problem? My problem is this filthy book you make me deliver. A pork book, bro. A filthy book about pork. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Keith. Do you need anything before I go to the wedding, bro? Yeah. What about the paper and the bloody coffee I told you to get an hour ago? Why did I hire you? You are such an idiot. Oh, well, at least today's a bit of a bludge. I wish Oliver had gone to Las Vegas or Thailand to get married. Melissa and Mario had the right idea. I hate bloody weddings. OK, so they said upstairs you need to bring your driver's licence tonight for the chapel, otherwise we can't, like, you know, get it all done properly. I was just there, darling, I know. It's just too complicated, all this paperwork, and I thought we'd just get married into, like, that little church thing. Grumpy, what's wrong with you? Because I'm hot, I feel sick and I'm pregnant. And everything we've done so far has been all about you. You're on about the shooting again, are ya? You? you keep choosing things that pregnant women can't do and I'm standing there like a knob. Come on, married couples have to support each other. How about you support me while I'm having a good time? Well, the same goes for you, bucko. The one thing I chose to do, you bitched and moaned the whole time. We're just doing laps of the Blue Haven pool. Hey, listen, this is this is meant to be romantic, OK? This is like Ashfield Pool, except without the Lebos. Hey, I supported you by not whinging about how far away you booked this hotel. It's in no man's lands, mate, and it looks like a big penis. <laughs> what does this dickhead think? Is that's my spot, look, mate? Just let him have it, would you? There's other spots. Look, I'm not bending over for one of these American dickheads. No way, mate. Look, what are you doing? Hey, dickhead, that is my spot, you understand? Hello? Dals, how are you? Take your shit and fuck off! Get away from my car, motherfucker! Everything's fine, Mum. Do you think I could call you back later? Dals, you sound stressed out. Are you constipated? Take your giant, I've got a small dick mobile, and piss it off, all right? This punk ass speaking English? Subtitles! Fuck off, piss off, fuck off! I see some weather. Everything's fine, OK? Well, can I call you back later? This is my spot. Hey, don't be hitting my motherfucking car. Get the fuck off. I'm going to just go sick on you, all right? Cap this go. motherfucker's ass. Fuck you, you little hummus. Christ, dick, dick, brother, go. Oh, oh. That's my car, motherfucker. Come on. Come on. Shit, do you reckon he's following us? Oh, I don't think so. Fuck. That hired car was on my credit card. Oh, and all the wedding paperwork's in there. Oh, my driver's licence, too, and I had a bag. I don't think we can do the wedding thing without the driver's licence. That's what they said in that office. What's wrong? Another one. Yeah, beautiful. Come on. 
Let's go, come on, he's probably gonna shoot us, mate. Amanda Doyle, regional manager speaking. Hi, Amanda, I'm just back from leave. And I'm hearing rumours that you're just about to be promoted. Well, it's not official yet, but it's going to be announced at today's board meeting. So I take it the Indian outsourcing has worked out well. Who'd have thought? Jonathan's just approved expanding the operation in Mumbai. Uh, everyone, could I have your attention, please? It looks like that pretty soon we're going to be needing more staff, so please tell your friends, your relatives, your cousins that all of them are welcome, OK? Uh, yeah, yeah, all right, shut up, piss off, back to work, back to work. Not a fun house. So you brokered the deal with the gay couple? Yes, I saved the company the cost and stress of going through litigation just by giving them what they wanted. And really, it only cost us about eight grand. <laughs> Stupid idiots, they could have sued us for millions. <laughs> Why on earth would they want Keith's staff there? They said they wanted to promote gays and straights all getting along. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Keith, everyone's on their way, mate. Clarissa's still on the phones. Hello, Swift and Chief Couriers. And Jim's in dispatch. Did someone give George a lift? The big goose went with Renzo and Doreen. What's that bloody smell? Did you break wind, George? <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't know if it means anything, Keith, but I'm really sorry you're getting the arse. Mate, it's that bitch Amanda. She's been trying to bone me since day one. Look, Keith, I reckon if you went to the board of directors and told them what sort of shit's going on around here, they'd probably sack that scraggy-ass fucking mole. Yeah, I never thought of that. Hey, Murray, I think you could be right. Omega Corporation, hello. Could you tell me what time the board meeting's starting today? Hillary, what is that on your screen? Uh, it is just an IT project I'm working on. Well, why is Amanda Doyle's photo on it? I am just using an old database. I will erase it. You said you were going to erase that last week. I am so sorry, Mr. Damien, sir. Sir? I like it when you call me sir. Sir. Hey, bro, bro. Oh, when can you give me more identities? I'm selling them like hotcakes. Actually, some new ones were just sent to me. What are you selling? Passports or driver's licenses? Everything, like everything. My bucky mates, like they organise the whole thing for me. I get 10%. Wait, wait, hold on. Hello, you lad. It's Mario, man. Look, I thought like you were in Las Vegas, you lad. Yeah, I'm still here, mate. But listen, man, look, what I need is the details for a fake driver's license, all right? You're like an American. How are you going to pay me, you lair? Hope it only takes cash. Hey, would you like me to tell Abdul about that thing you and his sister had going on, mate? Here comes the tsunami, like, here it comes. The kebab, like, is about to explode. All right, all right, please, shut up about that, please. I, I bet he'd love to know that his sister wasn't a virgin when she got married for the arranged marriage overseas. All right, all right, relax, I'll do it. Hey, listen. Put me in lockdown for two more identities, all right? Don't worry, I'll send you all the details. Hey, Swan and Jaggy, have you dropped that cake off yet? Jaggy? Hello, Jaggy? Jaggy, where are you? You fucking dip or what? Jaggy? Mad! Where are you? Oh, Jack, where are you? Fuck! Okay, Jack. Hey, Clarissa, where does Kev keep those courier outfits that he knocked off? Um, behind the couch downstairs. Good. Oi, where's the free piss? Oh, it looks expensive here. <laughs> What's this shit? <clears throat> uh, g'day, folks. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hello. I'm AJ, the marriage celebrant from Celebrants or Us. Uh, just looking for the, uh, the groom and, uh... Oh, the other groom. Right. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Tight schedule. I've got a naming ceremony in 45 minutes. What the fuck are you looking at me for? I'm just here for the free piss, mate. Sean! Where are you going? I haven't finished fixing your 
big pussy car! I can't believe it. We're going to be late. Stop rushing. We've got plenty of time. Where's all the other drivers? Why do we have to come if they don't? Look, let's just try and make the most of it. The food should be good. Oh, shit. He better not be sitting at our bloody table. Oh, my God, look, this is my lucky day. What the fuck is this shit, bro? It's called a samosa, bro. It's like an Indian choco roll. There we go. I thought a samosa was a drink. Well, I'm going to have to be pretty smashed to get through this tonight. So where's the beer? They're not serving beer, bro. Just wine. No bourbon? Nah, bro. Just pink champagne or wine. Pink champagne? I'm not drinking that nun's piss. What do you think I am? Some sort of po poultry farmer? This is the way to do it. No relatives, no hokey church, just the two of us, mate. It's worked out good. Hey, um, you know, are you gonna wear white with the pregnant stomach? Because you can see it. Get fucked. Where is your suit? Chillax hormone girl. What I'm gonna do, go downstairs, there's a suit rental place. Easy. Well, take your fucking time. Go, mate. I'm home. Hey, hey. What in the fuck is this? Look, I told the guy at the shop I thought the belt was too much. Let me just show you without the belt. Hey, hey. Now you look like Prince. Nah, not the Prince, the King. Thank you, thank you, thank you very much. a limo or something, you cheap ass. But the guy at the reception said it's only three blocks. We might as well walk, it's good for the baby. Just what I've always dreamt of doing. Walking three kilometres to my wedding with Elvis. You with the king, baby. All right, get into the whole Las Vegas thing, will ya? Hey, oh, one minute. Got a text. Who is it? Patience, darling. Let's get a drink, I'll tell you. That's better cheese to the wedding. I don't think I'm allowed to drink this. One's not gonna hurt that kid, come on. Look, Habib sent through the driver's license details and he's thrown in a couple of fake credit card numbers just as a wedding present. And look, we've got dodgy names. You are Amanda Doyle and I am Jonathan Berg. Oh, um, you don't recognise the names? No. You can't buy skills like this. Case of this, I don't give a fuck. Pass the star around, DJ put the star to stand They wanna bootleg it, bootleg it You wanna steal it, rock it, jack it Put it in your jacket and bootleg it, bootleg it See, I'm playing for shit, bootleg it I'm playing for shit G'day, I've got some very important papers for today's board meeting Amanda Doyle told me to bring them in personally Which way's the boardroom? Hello? Keith? Hi, it's Melissa. Look, I'm really sorry. We heard you got the sack. Nice that bitch, Amanda. Look, I don't know whether this helps or not, but I, I think the Indians have been doing identity theft on Swift and Shift employees. You can't buy skills like this. Case of this. I don't give a fuck. Bootleg and I playing for shit. Talk to Habib. Leave her alone. I'm getting married. Melissa, your timing's bloody beautiful. Good come luck. On, come on, let's go. Let's go get married. I want to do it. Come on. The king wants to get married. Stop staring at me. Means I'll do something. Excuse me. Stop staring at my wife, please. Hello, Keith. Oh, my God. Who told you about that? I swear to God, like, I got nothing to do with it. It's the Indians. I swear to God, it's all them. I'm not like, just a customer. You gotta believe me. I'm like, I'm innocent. Hey, Lennon, where's those two twin guys? I don't wanna be here at this man man wedding anymore. Well, if they don't have a good excuse, head off.